Hello everyone, I hope you're all. This is Coins Kid. Just gonna loan to Bitcoin, we've got the Coins Kid crew. So uh with Bitcoin then, I think that what you've got personally here, you're trying to carve out this bottom, and this is a, a wave count I've been looking at for a very long time. You've got a one, you've got a two, you've got a three. This is a way for a regular correction that's potentially bottomed out. If it hasn't, it has to hold that low just there. Okay, and then you've got that final fifth wave impulse. So you know from 20 uh 2018, which I remember well, we had that beautiful impulsive move corrective move okay impulsive move and now we've been this corrective move year on year so you know from 2018 into 2019 impulsive uh, 2019 into 2020 corrective 2020 into 2021 impulsive 2021 into 2022 corrective and 2022 into 2023 you know um, looking at an impulsive move right there for bitcoin you know it's kind of gearing up for that isn't it off this low so you know the last leg for this particular count is this red line which is the wave one high you know because the world of value wave theory is that the wave four correction cannot retrace any lower than the wave one high because it invalidates the count basically so this is something i'm looking at if and it is a big if if this low is not in and the magnificent seven are not calling the lows here okay and you know we've got all these data sets here that's telling us that the lows are in and we're trying to carve out the bottom if it's not the case that this is the bottom and we do fall any lower that's the last leg of support this wave one high which if it's breached and lost then this bullish count is out the window basically okay and then at that point i would say okay were well, you in this whopping massive bear market here for bitcoin where potentially you start to sweep these lows and you start to come down and you could retest these lows that you put in in uh, march 2020 right there so you know this particular bottom here you know there's lots of indicators here the emas as well look at the gap there like i said to you uh, bulls make money bears make money and pigs get slaughtered as we're coming down here so you're really really extended you know think about entering bitcoin and putting some long bids in or whatever at this point you know because like i said to you when the rsi is in the floor always buy more especially on the weekly you know we're at historic levels here uh you know of key support basically looking for a bounce and we've got that you know in the minute we're running into resistance and coming back to support so we conform and we're trying to carve out some kind of bottom down here like we did on this bottom as well okay so if we look at this very similar bottom at the moment the gaps in the emas the gaps in the emas right now you've come down you bottom there you ran into the 10 ema which is a blue line came down a high low caught up and broke out of an ascending triangle w double bottom pattern look at that and that created that huge impulsive move off that low okay so at the minute you're doing exactly what you've done before uh you, you are until you're not you know and to invalidate that right now you've got to see these lows lost and this green line here that's a key low as well so if you do start to see bitcoin trading below that particular level of support right there on the 13th of july i think it was then you are taking out one of the magnificent seven data sets right there and it could be quite worrying it could indicate okay well we're coming down to retest this wave one high at least okay now again if that starts to lose and you do something like that that's devastating because you're in a massive bear market in my opinion and i don't know where the bottom is but then anyway aside from that you know anything can happen what you're doing right now is carving out the bottom you ran into the 10 ema the blue line here and the 236 so you can form into resistance and right now you can see what you're doing you're falling back to this leg of resistance that you've broken out and not not back tested a support so you're trying to carve out some kind of bottom here and a potential w double bottom pattern like this and essentially some kind of ascending triangle under resistance and support coil up coil up coil up and then break out and the next level of resistance on the fibs on the weekly is the 382 so you know if, if bitcoin calls up here and holds this support and breaks out like that that would be a really key area of resistance for me the 382 at 29708 and you can see it's this leg here now you might wick higher than that like you did here okay you might wick higher than that and we've got targets i've shown you on you know the daily fibs and things like that but if you wick higher i do think that you know this could be a ma major level of resistance going forward where you might not close and above it like you did here you're not closing above it do you see that like i always say to you it's all about closing above and below resistance and support so right now what you've done you've got that leg of resistance just there you melted through it ran into the resistance at 236 and right now you're holding this previous leg of resistance as support so technically you're moving up the stairs here okay you, you bullish basically off these lows okay so what we do need to see is the hold of this support come up break this level of resistance hold that as support come up you know run into that resistance come back for support hold that support and then slowly but surely work your way up here through the fibs okay holding and back testing a support and resistance as you go and that's bullish you know that's the market structure we're looking for right now so this is a key level of resistance right here at support sorry 
previous resistance now back to Centona support and I'm going to need to move that down because it's just there okay you can see all your opening closing so if you start to see Bitcoin closing below that 21026 on the weekly it means you're losing the key level resistance that you're now back to Centona support okay look at the weekly candle there melted for it never back to support and that right now you're holding this support once more start to see that lost and obviously what you've got is a deeper retracement here from there to that green line okay and that green line here this load that you're putting has to hold if it doesn't it's a big big warning sign here but i want to reassure you that what you're doing is healthy market structure at the moment off the bottom because this is what it looks like you run into the emas you come back for support break out boom see you later now if we start to create an impulsive move like that then that particular wave count like i've said to you is valid you know we've got this irregular wave for correction that's come down and we're looking to coil up off the lows and break out you know so where would bitcoin be heading if it was to break out here well for me my lowest point okay my lowest target would be 100k and it's the 1272 uh, one hundred thousand six hundred dollars roughly off these lows if we hold this support and start to come back up here through the fibs you know leaning into 2023 and we come up and we break the one fib here i would be looking at a minimal target of 100k uh, there for bitcoin okay but at that point it could go anywhere okay you've got the 1414 you've got a 1618 you've got the two you've got the 2.272 and the 2414 all the way up there anything could happen this is bitcoin okay so i hope you enjoyed that little update in a minute stay healthy stay strong and that's exactly what the, the the charts are doing is trying to carve out a bottom at the minute it is until it isn't okay so i hope you enjoyed that little update stay healthy stay strong stay tuned take care everyone bye bye